you might remember that we did domains before, right? And what is the only thing we have to worry about for domain? There's only one thing we got to worry about, Jackson. Fractions. Yeah. What about them? Um, uh, right. So the denominator cannot equal zero. Other than that, do we have to be concerned about anything? No. no. So what is the domain of a? X such that what? All yep, all real numbers. It's an element of the real numbers, right? How about B? Good. Uh, Eli says negative 49. Why, Eli? It's saying x equals negative 49. Exactly. So if we drew a graph of this, right, you guys, it would look like this. And the only x possible here is when x is equal to negative 49. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, Sydney, what's not allowed for part C? Uh, well, I got all of the numbers except zero, but Yeah, that's right. So x is an element of all reals, right? Uh -huh. x cannot equal 0, because that's what would make the denominator 0. Good. Excellent. Who wants to do the fourth one? Reese? I got x such that x is a real number, and x is not equal to negative 9. x such that x is an element of the reals, but x cannot be equal to what? Negative 9. Negative 9. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, it, um, and one way, remember, to do this is to just set this equal to 0, right? So I would solve this, and I get negative x equals 9, which means x has to equal negative 9, but actually it can't equal that. Okay, so in today's work, we are going to um, talk about domain again, and that's why I wanted to do this for a warm-up.